I've really heard a lot of thank yous from uh, millions and millions of people with cell phones who want us to stand up for their privacy. So, uh, no, we think this, this lawsuit will get heard. There's already been a lawsuit like this heard simply by people who say their privacy has been breached. We think there's evidence that anyone who has a cell phone or a landline has had their cell phone breached. So I think achieving standing and being heard in court is very likely since a couple of cases have already been heard. But, you know, the president pushed back yesterday and he said, well, 15 judges have ruled this thing constitution. You have to get into the nitty gritty here a little bit. Those 15 judges were in secret courts primarily with no one arguing on the side of the Bill of Rights. You only had the government arguing. So we want to get into an open court, the Supreme Court, where you can hear both sides and there will be an open debate about whether the Fourth Amendment applies here. And I think it needs to happen. Aren't those members of what's called that FISA court, aren't those judges appointed by the Chief Justice of the United States, John Roberts? Is, is he someone you don't trust in these matters? It's not really trust. It's a matter of that I think to get to truth, to find truth in a courtroom, you've got to have a lawyer on both sides. This is sort of something that came out of hundreds of years of uh, common law and figuring out what we wanted to have for jurisprudence. And having an attorney on each side is a basic uh, thing that you need to to try to find truth. And in that court, the FISA court, number one, it's secret. So the hearings aren't public, and I think the truth may not always come out when it's in secret. And number two, only the government presents their case. So you only hear from the NSA, which of course loves to spy, and so they obviously will defend spying. But you don't get to hear from any citizens who think, you know what, I haven't done anything wrong, and I, there's no suspicion and no individualized warrant to me. Why should my phone records be dragged up? So no, I don't think a FISA court, fundamentally, I don't think it can find truth. So I think we need to be in an open court, into the Supreme Court, and this is a big question about the Bill of Rights. And with all the advances in technology, I think really we do need to get this into the Supreme Court. Well, there are other cases. Uh, the Harvard law professor, Alan Dershowitz, for example, uh, I spoke with him yesterday. He said there are other cases trying to do what you're trying to do that have much greater standing, legally speaking. Uh, he, he thinks yours is more of a political stunt, for example. Listen to what, <laughs> Dersh listen to what Dershowitz said. This issue was already before the courts in some different contexts, and those cases will probably reach the Supreme Court. This is more of a political action than an action that has a chance of actually succeeding on its own merits. All right. He's the Harvard Law professor. What say you to him? <laughs> well, you know, I'm a physician. I hate to argue with Alan Dershowitz, but I would make the point, though, that because ours is going to be a class action lawsuit on behalf of everyone with records, if one of the cases goes forward and only 10 people sue, maybe 10 records get expunged. This would be on behalf of all cell phone users, and all cell phone records would be expunged or taken out of the system if we win. And it also illustrates the point that we're suing on behalf of everyone who's had their records collected, not just 10 or 20 people. Ours also argues specifically that this is a Fourth Amendment issue. It doesn't argue over statute. So actually, there are legal scholars who are saying we have a great chance, and we've talked to several of these. And, you know, legal scholars can sometimes disagree, and they also have political opinions, too. So we'll see how it goes, but uh, we won't know until we try. And I think it's an important enough question that we do try. And I, I can't say that we will win, but uh, we are going to try our hardest to defend the Fourth Amendment because we think what the president's doing is wrong and goes against what the Fourth Amendment stands for.